I've been invited to see a young man who lives with his family, a seven hour drive away. Like me, 30 year old Francis can't use his legs. This is the first time he's been brought outside for years. It looks like many of the people in this village have never seen Francis before. Hello. Hello. I'm Sophie. Francis looks very uncomfortable, and so we decide to do the interview in his room. Francis, how long have you been in here? 15 years. 15 years. Is that when you became disabled? Uh, so, why do you stay in here? Do your friends come and see you here? Hearing a voice coming from outside the door, I realised something's not right. What? Go away! Are you serious? Someone told him to say that. Who is she? It appears a relative has been listening in. Well, it, it, someone is outside the door, I think, whispering answers to Francis, telling him what to say in response to my questions. I think they're trying to paint a better picture of what his life is actually like here. Francis is entirely reliant on the goodwill of those around him, like many people in his position. With my brother guarding the door, Francis starts to talk more freely. Do you think that you're kept here because your family's hiding you? Are you afraid you're going to be here for the rest of your life? So sad. I've been on bed rest before. Um, I can't compare it, but I was on bed rest for two and a half, nearly three years. I was. I had to stay inside, lying down. And it was really horrible, it was really hard. I remember feeling really alone and really frightened and really dependent on people. And to try and compare that to this, it's just, it's so, so heartbreaking. This man has just been left to die, really. I just get the feeling that people are ashamed of disabled people, <laughs> that they, uh, they aren't human beings, that disabled people deserve to be hidden away and can't have access to the things that they need. Someone could help him. And no one wants to help him. It's estimated that there are half a million disabled people in Ghana who are confined to their homes. 